The name Karen, does it bring up some weird things for you when I say Karen? Yeah, it's taken on a whole new and somewhat negative life on social media. The Karen, if you don't know, is usually portrayed as this white middle-aged woman with an unfortunate haircut, I would say asymmetrical sort of bob, uh, who is complaining always to the manager, similar to this Kate Gosselin meme. Oh boy, well in this viral video, a woman who got into a screaming fit over having to wait three hours for food at a Red Lobster on Mother's Day was called a Karen. And in another video, of uh, a woman nicknamed Kids Bob Karen unleashed a foul mouth rant at a Lyft driver and his female passenger who says she cut, she says cut her off. The Karen claimed her kids couldn't uh, hear her swear because they were listening to Kids Bob. Full disclosure, our producer, Karen, wrote this script and is nothing <laughs> like the women on social media. Also, happy belated birthday, Karen. You're not like those women. What do you guys think of the Karen memes? Because I've seen this now go to a new like racial thing. Like, is this like a, is this towards all white women? Like, is, is Karen all white women? Or is this just like a joke like anything else? Erica, what do you think? Okay, I'm gonna need for people who are calling this a slur and racial yeah. slur to stop, okay? <laughs> when you are a Karen, that means that you've opted in. And if it don't apply, let it fly. But the fact is, if someone's labeling you Karen, that means that you've done something to warrant that label. You're not just sitting there minding your own business. Totally. And generally, it means that you've stepped into something, into somebody else's business, that you had no business stepping into. And you've made a spectacle of yourself based on some degree of privilege that you believe that you have. If that applies, to you, Karen, then that applies to you. If it doesn't apply to you, then just let it fly. Let it Why fly. Why people want to autumn? Uh, when people are like, oh, it's the new N word, are you serious, <laughs> Karen? <laughs> That's a Karen. That is a okay? Karen. People who I haven't posted for three days on social media, haven't been on the show for three days, and the next day you're in my DMs or on my social media telling me something that you don't like about me, girl, bye. You haven't seen or heard from me in three days, and you're thinking about me? That's a Karen. Okay? Oh, wow. You Erica, opted Erica, in. No, I take offense because I haven't seen or heard from you in three days, and I've thought about you. I miss you. Good, good argument, Al. Great job on that. Can I just say sensitivity training writes us all in. Guys, there's Karens, there's Beckys, and there's Patties, and then someone wrote there's also Carls. Those are, like, the names. Am I right. right? Yeah, and I know we're having fun with this, but what I'll always tell people is, like, please make sure that we don't get so caught up in, in, in cute nicknames like Peppermint Patty and Coupon Carl that we forget that Permit these... Patty. Permit Patties. Pat yes, Patty. not Patties. Sorry, shout out to the peanuts. Yeah. But honestly, like, we really need to remember that the reason that we're talking about these people is because they are having egregious behavior that's been caught on camera. Let's not let their racial slurs or their berating of people that are trying to take care of them or as social service workers go unnoticed because we're too, too quick to try and think of a cute, catchy nickname. So I understand where all this is coming from, but always focus on the fact that their behavior is outrageous and that should not be condoned or put in a way that we can laugh at it. We need to call it what it is. Yeah, and it is entitlement. I think that's exactly right and privilege.